Alright, so in this video we're going to look at hypothesis testing and in in this one the uh, it's a it's going to be a left tailed test and the and sigma is known okay so we'll know the population standard deviation so for hypothesis testing we've got uh, the claim about mu, the population mean. So we'll, we will say H naught, the null hypothesis, is mu equals some number k. That's what we're testing. And we believe that mu is less than the value stated in the null hypothesis, H naught. So our alternate hypothesis, H sub 1, now I use H sub 1 in some textbooks for the alternate hypothesis. They may use the H with the subscript A. It's the same thing. So what we're claiming is that mu is less than K. Mu is less than what's stated in the null hypothesis. So basically what it would look like for a left-tailed test Okay, we have a normal distribution and our p-value is to the left. Okay, it's a left tail test. So this would be the our p-value, the, the area under the curve to the left of our uh, of our z value our test statistic here so what we need to do is find our test statistic z which is equal to x bar minus mu over sigma divided by the square root of n well x bar is the mean of a simple random sample mu is the value that's stated in h naught our null hypothesis and n is the sample size. Alright, so how do we conclude a test using the p-value and the level of significance alpha? They'll give us a level of significance in the problem. Uh, usually it's, you know, 0 0.01, 0 0.05, or maybe 0.1. Okay, so if our p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject the null hypothesis and say the data are statistically significance, significant at the level alpha. And if the p-value is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. All right, so our p-value is, is the probability for a left-tailed test, okay, our p-value is the probability that z is less than our test statistic, okay. So it would look like this, the probability of z is less than and then whatever we get here, okay, whatever number we get here. And this would equal our p-value. Okay. And then we compare this value to the alpha that they give us. Okay. All right, so let's, let's take a look at uh, a problem. Okay, so it says spot is a dog that gets regular checkups from the vet. Let x be a random variable that represents his resting heart rate in beats per minute. From past experience, the vet knows that X has a normal distribution with sigma equals 12. See, they give us the, the population standard deviation. And the vet found that for dogs of spots breed, that mu is equal to 115 beats per minute. This is the population mean. Over the past six weeks, spots heart rate measured these values here okay 
that's these are spots heart rate okay this is the average heart rate of all the dogs of spots breed and this is the standard deviation of all of the dogs breeds okay of you know the same breed of spot so the sample mean is x bar equals 105 okay and this x bar is 105 that's the average of these values here okay okay so the vet is concerned that spots heart rate may be slowing do the data indicate this is the case use level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05 okay so this right here is a left tail because see spots heart rate is less than the population average and so that's what we're going to test all right so now what we need to do is state our null hypothesis and our alternate hypothesis so the null hypothesis is mu is equal to 115 okay and then our alternate hypothesis is mu is see we're thinking based on this based on spots heartbeats that it's less than the 115 because spots heart rate is less than 115 so that's less than 115 okay so now we need to find our test statistic Z all right so remember Z is equal to X bar minus mu over Sigma divided by the square root of n and in this case Sigma is equal to and see they give us 12 okay uh, n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and x bar is equal to 105 so we plug this into our formula and so we get Z is equal to 105 minus 115 over Sigma which is 12 divided by the square root of n all right so after punching this into our calculator we get negative 2.04 this is rounded to two decimal places all right so now we need to find our p-value so our p-value is equal to the probability and we want to know that the probability that x bar is less than 105 okay which this is equal to the probability that z because see we converted it to a we have a z value now is less than negative 2.04 okay so now we need to look this value up in our standard normal table so let's pull that up I had this from a previous problem all right so our z value well let's go to the negative z scores okay so it's negative 2.04 is what we're looking for we're looking for probability z is less than negative 2.04 so we come down here on the Z and there's negative 2 okay. and then we have to go to the column of point zero 0.04 which is right here and that gives us point zero 
zero seven. Okay, that's this value here. Okay, so that's our p value. Let me erase this. Let's go back to our problem. So this is point zero two zero seven. All right, so now we have to compare this to our alpha. Okay, so they wanted us to use a significance, a level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05. And you can see that our p-value is less than 0 0.05. All right, so since our p-value is less than the significance level, okay, we do what? We reject H0. Okay, so we reject the null hypothesis. All right, so what this is saying is that the, um, the heartbeat of the population could be less than 115 beats per minute. Okay. All right. So I hope this helped, and I'll do some more videos. Uh, I'll do right-tailed, two-tailed. I'll do it when sigma's known, sigma's unknown, and I'll do the proportion p hypothesis testing. Uh, but I'll do I'll do each one in separate videos. So you might want to check those out. Alright, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, thanks.